Hey, hey everyone, we are doing a little experiment. We are looking at alternatives to the Stalogy. So the Stalogy is known for um, a very simple graph a paper that if you're wanting to look for an alternative to the Hobonichi, this is always one that comes up. So we are gonna do kind of a little test of some other options out on the market that you might be interested in if the Stalogy doesn't fit for you. So I have a multiple pens here. So we are going to be doing a pen test and walking through the feel of the paper the best that I could describe it, as well as how does it work with, we have the Sharpie S note, we have the Papermate Ink Gel, um, <laughs> Ink Joy Gel, then we have the Tombow Fudinosco um, brush pen. This is in the soft version. We have a Pilot Varsity fountain pen. So these are very inky that a lot say um, they are fountain pen friendly. So let's take it to the test. And then we just have a felt tip. This is a scribble stuff um, that is available at Walmart. So let's get into the good stuff. So we are going to walk through the Stalogy. So this is an A5 size. This is the half year, so it is smaller. Um, and currently I'm using it in my work planner. So we are going to skip those first pages uh, for the privacy. And we are going to look at the back as where we're gonna be doing our um, pen test. That one doesn't fold <laughs> flat, it's a little lopsided bit. So let's talk about the feel of the paper. So the feel of the paper, you could hear it, it crinkles, which is awesome. We love the crinkliness, which means as you put more in it, the more it will expand. I don't use any stickers, so this is pretty much um, the same with from the start of it. So now we are going to look at the grit. So let's zoom in a little bit, and if we could. So the grid is very small, um, but it's not too small that you can't write in it. So we're gonna zoom you guys back out, and here we have it, but close enough that you could take a look at our pen test. So we are going to start off with the S note. So this is kind of an alternative to the uh, mild liners. So this is an option that is more available in the United States. They come in a lot of different colors. Um, they are darker, as you could see. The tone of the ink is not as light as mild liners, so be careful if you're wanting to use them as highlighters. They might not be the best option. So there we have it, looks nice, writes smoothly. And so there is ghosting, which is expected, but there is no bleed through, so that is awesome. So the S note is a thumbs up on the Stalogy paper. Now let's move on to the Tombow. So this is a brush pen, so you could do, I'm working on my brush pen, so I'm not the best, so this is a Tombow. It's a little scratchy if you're writing, but um, this is not gonna be your normal writing pen. So, looks good, ghosting, but no bleed through. So we are an A plus on the Tombow. Now here we have it, the Pilot Varsity. So this is a fountain pen. So with a lot of it is, um, that there is uh, feathering with, um, I varsity, ah, misspelled that, that's okay. Um, feathering, so let's take a look. I'm not seeing every feathering, so that is great for a fountain pen users with the varsity. Let's check, little bit of ghosting, not too bad, so that is still a thumbs up. We are moving on to the Paper Mate Ink Joy. So this one is, they are well known that, um, they are inky and they work on a lot of different papers. So you sticker lovers, you know about the ink joys. So they work on glossy uh, sticker paper, which is awesome. 
So same thing, I feel like it's the same, but one thing is that you could feel the, um, the ink joy on the other side. The other pens, the fountain one, you don't feel it. The impression's not there, but with the ink joy, there is. So take that into consideration. Now our last is our um, felt tip. Um, and so we'll just call this a scribble. So let's take a look and look that no bleed through. So all of these pens are an A plus on the Stalogy paper. So that is great. So one thing about the Stalogy is there are a few shops that you could get this from. So there are different Japanese stores such as like Jet Pens. Um, and you can also find out on Amazon as well. But there is right limited stocks. So that is the Stalogy. So let's move on to our next option, which is the Wonderland 222. So this Wonderland is the notebook version. So it is essentially the daily planner and I have been using it since October and I have really been loving it. So what I've already done is I have done a pen test here. So I have looked at the Pilot Varsity, the Paper Mate Ink Joy, the Scribble stuff, another felt tip, um, Sharpie, Esno, and Crayola Super Tip. So with that, there is essentially minimal bleed through on that, um, which is awesome. So all of my pens that I have used here, which I haven't tested this, which I will for you, I'll redo the same thing. So we have it all worked out um, that we are playing it the same way. So we're going to the very last page because the last page is essentially pointless. <laughs> there is the bend right here and it just makes it really hard to write on. So we're gonna leave that. So we have the S note here. This paper, I forgot, we did not talk about this paper. This paper is a Tombow River paper and it is so smooth, it is crinkly, and it is great. So if you're looking for a Tombow, not a Tombow, a Tomo River paper alternative, I would definitely check out the Wonderland 222. They have a weekly version as well as this daily. They have three sizes. You have your B6, which is this. You have your A5 and your A6. Um, and we can see there is more ghosting because the Tomo River is a thinner um, GSM than the Stalogy. But with that, there is still no bleed through. So that is a, 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 place, a plus for the Wonderland. So now we have the Tombow. You could hear it, it is scratchy like the other one, so that is good. So one thing about this is the grid is darker. So you will notice it in your writing. It has the little dots um, in between for the edges of the square. The paper color is more yellow tone, I would say, than the Stalogy. Tombow, it, there we have it. It, um, no bleed through. There is ghosting as to be expected. Now, they say this paper is so fabulous when it comes to fountain pens, and I have to say it is very nice. It works. It's smooth. There is no feathering from, I keep on messing the S on varsity. <laughs> um, and there we have it the same way. No bleed through. There is ghosting. Guys, I feel like all of these are going to be an A+. Plus as they should, because this is like the holy grail of paper. Um, so we have the ink joy, so we could feel it, so it's the same way that you could feel the impression on the ink joy, but no bleed through. And our last is the scribble stuff. And same as can be seen. So this is a al great alternative to the Stalogy. Um, as well as the Hobonichi, but 
I think I like this better than the Stalogy just because of the paper, um, the smoothest that I like. Um, one thing is it does have very visible uh, hourly if you're into that. It has number pages that the Stalogy doesn't, so that is awesome, as well as where you could put the date. As for stickers, yes, stickers are able to be used in this and it is so great. So this is an awesome option. So the Wonderland 222. They are based in the United States. They're in the Seattle area. So that is great if you want to support a US shop. So now we have the CD notebook. So this is um, a Japanese version. It's a thicker paper. Um, it is the grid, it is larger. These are, I think, the five millimeter sections. The paper is so smooth. I feel like this is smoother than anything so far that I felt, and I'm really excited about it. So, first time writing in it. Um, this was from my most recent uh, Jet Pens haul. So, here we have it. So nice. Ooh, I'm really liking this. Okay, so there we have it. Let's check it out. So this is barely ghosting. So since this paper, I believe, um, this is an A6 size, but I feel like it was like a 80 something GSM. So it is thicker than like the 52 of the Toma River. So here we have it. So this is the Tombow less scratchy if you could hear it. So that means the paper is less toothy. Barely any ghosting, that is really nice. Um, they do come in different sizes, but I don't recall. Um, I think there is an A5 as well as um, the, this is the A6. Okay, uh, looks to be no feathering, that is awesome. Same thing, minimal ghosting, not too shabby. This is so far going really well. With this, there is no um, hours. There is essentially nothing, it is just graph paper. So if you're into that as like a moleskine um, alternative, then you have this. And I believe I I got mine from the Jet Pens. So if you want to check my latest video on the Jet Pens haul, I picked this up. Um, and it is really nice. Okay, so there is still an impression on the Ink Joy. So, um, but yeah, like look at that. You could barely even see anything. So if you are not a fan of ghosting, definitely go check this out. Um, and depending on, it isn't as crinkly because it's thicker. So I don't know how much it would expand. So I'm going to have to definitely play around with this once I get to it. Um, but I've used, I'm using a, um, paper bound creations, um, little TN, A6 TN, and it's super cute. And so I'm excited to have a little cover for that. Now we are moving on to our forum B6. So this one is very similar to the last. So it is just plain grid. Um, I'm trying to think of what the sizing was. It's made in the US. So if you're wanting to support a US, um, there you have it. Um, so the paper is an in-between, so I feel like it is thinner than the last one, but definitely thicker than the first two. Um, what's really nice is that these have perforated corners. So you tear it as you go along to make it easy access to find your page. So here we have it, and we're just going to go in the back. Already, I think there is going to bleed there because I could see the icons on the other side of this paper. So here we have it. The S note. Let's see, what do we think? What do we think? 
There is ghosting. Yes, there is ghosting. No bleed through. That is an A+. Plus. Um, good thing I don't know really anyone from U to Z. So <laughs> it's kind of nice that they have like these contact items, but am I going to be using it? No. A little scratchiness, but not too shabby. Let's see. There is ghosting, no bleed through. Looking awesome, you guys. These are all awesome alternatives to Stalogy. Let's see. No feathering. So excited about that. And no bleeding. We are looking so good. Ink joy. Okay, there is the impression. So all of them have the impression if you're using just a standard gel pen. Um, so that is how it is. Yeah, awesome, you guys. These are all great alternatives to the Stalogy if you want to save a couple bucks. Like this is like 12 something for the Beef 6. Um, so it is definitely cheaper than the Stalogy. This one, this A6 here, um, is somewhere around there as well. So that is comparable. Now the Wonderland is going to be more pricing close to the Stalogy, but it's still, these are great alternatives if you're looking for saving a few bucks and wanting Toma River paper or looking at alternatives that are cheaper. So these are great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little hen test at alternatives to the Stalogy. Thanks for watching. Bye.